Okay, in this video we're going to talk about addition and subtraction of radicals. Hopefully you have your foundation down about your terms that have to deal with radicals. When we are adding and subtracting, what needs to be the same? In order to be able to add and subtract radicals, there are two things that need to be the same. The radicands and the indices, which is just the plural word for index. If you don't remember what the radicand is and what the index is, then you need to go back and study what it means. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk through one example. We are going to practice the square roots of 24 plus the square root of 54. Are my indices and my radicands the same? No, they're not. What is different? Are the indices different? No, they're both two. We have a, whenever you have a radical with no index shown, it's an understood two. It's an understood square root. Are my radicands the same? No, they are not. I have 24 and I have 54. So I need to get those to be the same. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify. Can these be simplified anymore? Can I pull any principles out, any root principles out, or principal roots, I apologize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find all my prime factors of 24. Okay, so I've got three, I'm not used to doing it this way, which leaves me eight, I've got two, which leaves me four, two, which leaves me two, and another two, and then I'm done with 54. I have, I'm going to start with a two, which leaves me 27, three, which leaves me nine, three, which leaves me three, and then a three, and we are done. Now I'm going to rewrite it, because I'm going to go through this step by step by step. 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 plus, and what you see I'm doing is I'm taking all my factors and just putting them in there. 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. Now remember, we have the square root. So that means that every two factors that are the same, I can pull one out. So I have two twos that are the same here. And I have two threes that are the same here. I'm going to erase this now so that it's out of our way because we are done with that step. On your paper, you would just have that off to the side and you would leave it. Leave all your work to be shown. So now I can pull this two out. On, remember, only pull one out from the group. And I'm left with three times two, which is six. Plus, I can pull one three out of that group. And I'm left with the square root of 6. Now, are my indices the same? Yes, they're understood too. Are my radicands the same? Yes. Now I can add. Think of the radicals with the radicands inside as kind of like a variable. It's a like term. Now we're dealing with like terms. So my square root of 6 will stay the same, but I'm going to add 2 plus 3 which gives me five. So your answer is five to the square root times the square root of six. Five times the square root of six. 